So going up through high school and even just the beginning of my college years, I never really owned a new phone. Actually, all of them came from Amazon Renewed and Back Market. I started off with an iPhone 5S, then went to the 6S, to the 7 Plus, to the 11. All of them were completely bought from Amazon Renewed. I can't tell you how much money I saved going with that option instead of buying it new. I took great care of those phones and they work wonderfully to this day. Uh, additionally, my dad loves buying secondhand phones from these websites. And another example is I just bought my aunt an iPhone 8 Plus uh, just last year. She really likes the home button and a big screen. She doesn't want to have that taken away from her just yet. So back market had a really good deal for just around $290. When it came in the mail, she was generally impressed too. The phone was in great shape, just a few minor scuff marks at the edges and she was using it right away. She loves it. She wasn't even sure if this was a used phone or not. In this video, I want to tell you guys my experience buying phones off of these websites, uh, how they are, what to expect, and generally what to look out for so that we can save an extra few couple dollars here, especially during these times when egg prices are hitting sky high limits. I mean, who wouldn't want to save a couple hundred extra dollars? So let's get right into it. Uh, so as you can tell, I'm actually a pretty proud customer of these websites. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. The first thing that you're probably wondering is uh, how are they? Well, this is kind of the age old question that you would ask yourself when buying from these websites. And let me tell you this, always check the seller first. Sold and shipped are not the same thing. My advice is to take a quick look at the profile, see if they have some pretty good star ratings on there, see what other people have said. I know that Amazon may not have the best reviews. Some may be fake, some may be real. You definitely are taking quite a gamble when buying from these sites. I generally found that the buyers I bought from uh, typically always have maybe like a 92, 94% rating and above. Anything below 90, 87. I know these are kind of like arbitrary numbers in some sense. Uh, I don't really feel too comfortable from buying them. Like I said, you can always choose who you want to buy from. Just click one of those options, uh, sold and shipped by different persons. And you can just find just about that. If you have any more questions, like what does it come with? Uh, you know, did the battery get replaced? Um, and sorts of stuff. You can always just email them. They're actually pretty good with it depending on who you ask. My friend who purchased an S22 Ultra from eBay asked if they could ship an extra USB-C cable in it for free and they did just that. Uh, the phone is actually in pristine condition. He said it was really, really clean and when I looked at it too, I was kind of shocked about how amazing it was. And if you want proof too, uh, you can check out the video that we shot the S22 Ultra on our stabilizer right up here. I was impressed. He saved like $450 and was pretty damn happy with it. But yeah, definitely check their profile, see what other people are saying about them. Uh, double check their return policy, see how long it is too and how to ship it back. Most of these phones on Amazon are gonna have a 90 day return policy, which is actually a pretty long time window if you think about it, that's like three months. So if anything were to happen, uh, you know, definitely ship it back. I did return a few phones before, uh, for example, the iPhone 12 that I first bought, uh, you can watch my day in life video up here as well. It came kind of uh, scuffed up, especially around the edges and the back glass of the screen was, was really scratched up. I was kind of like, whoa, 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 this, this ain't it chief. So uh, luckily I sent it back and I bought the same exact one just from a different seller, but I bought it through Amazon and then they shipped it in. Uh, the whole process took about a week from getting the old phone, shipping it back, buying the new phone, getting it in. So the time process was really quick if you have Prime. The new phone, which I said, you can check the day in the life review there. If you wanna see another example too, uh, I have the uh, iPhone 11 here, which if you can see, maybe, yeah, you see that little streak? Yeah, yep, yep. That's been there for like two years now. And honestly, I don't really mind it at all. It just still works fine. Nothing's been terrible. It's just that little scratch mark. If you can bear with it, then you can bear saving a couple hundred dollars. As far as the battery goes, just know that some of them, they replace it with a new battery. And most of these times, they're not gonna be the, the best. I'd say they're like 90% of what the actual battery is because they are going with aftermarket cheaper parts here. If you have an iPhone that has like iOS 15 or later, uh, you can actually check if the battery is genuine or not. Uh, go through the Apple website, they'll tell you all about those details there. These aftermarket batteries that they're putting in is to be expected for such a low price. In terms of what to expect when you get the phone, uh, yeah, definitely check to see if there's scratches, uh, check the charging port to see if it's clean, there may be some dust up in there. Uh, check the serial number too, see if it's real or not. Um, I haven't had a problem since. There are some scary stories out there that people have gotten stolen phones before. So uh, yeah, look up the serial number, it's really not that hard. Most of these times they won't come with like their coverage plans like Apple Care or Samsung stuff they got going on. I haven't seen too many differences between Androids and iPhones. Yes, we did get an S22 Ultra and I also did buy an S10 Plus way back in the day. That was perfectly fine as well. So basically, like I said, those are my personal experiences. If you're just like me who wants a little bit more confidence before you click that buy now button, look, here I am, go right ahead. You have nothing to be afraid of for the most part. Worst comes to worst, 
return the phone, ask them to get your money back, and they would do just that. Buying from these big websites like Amazon, Backmarket, eBay are pretty large, so if anything were to happen, uh, you know, you'll be backed and safe by these huge corporations going on the phone call to customer support, they're gonna give you your money back. Plus, going with these used phones, you're definitely helping out the environment if you do so care about the earth. An old, unused phone by someone else can find its home within you. It's great that you're giving it a second life rather than just throwing it in the trash. But as far as that goes, let me know if you have bought phones from these websites before. I wanna hear your experiences. I've heard some good stories and I heard some bad stories, more so good. So if you have anything to chime in, let me know down in the comments below. And if this video helped you, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more content on the way. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.